All right, so joining us now is Paul Scully. He's been the Tory MP for Sutton and Cheam since 2015, but he'll be stepping down at the next general election. Good morning to you, Good morning Paul. To you, ben. Can I just ask, I'll be frank, some people are saying that it's, uh, no offence, rats fleeing a sinking ship. Is that the case? Uh, look, not for me. I'll just brief history of my, my reasons. I um, thought, you know, I... Pretty sure I would win my seat. It would be a struggle, but win my seat in the next election. It's the next five years. I never wanted to retire as an MP uh, in my 80s, shuffling around a place. So if I'm not going to be around to be the sort of like part of the long-term solution for the party, better leave it to someone else to do. Other people, though, will be leaving because of what I, the, the reasons that Andrea said. Some people will be fearful of their seats and then uh, losing their seats and then worrying about what job they're going to get uh, because they'll be in a. Uh, uh, with, you know, with uh, uh, you know uh, many other ex MPs trying to find uh, is fishing for the same sort of jobs. But mine, mine was a sort of like longer process than that. So, I mean, you, you also mentioned, uh, um, or Andrea mentioned, that MPs are worried about their safety, and that's one of the reasons that they're tired and why they're leaving in their droves. But some of the rhetoric you have used yourself, Paul. I mean, Tower Hamlets in London being a no go area. I mean, how worried about you, uh, your personal safety as an MP? Is that one of the reasons maybe you consider stepping down? Not really, no, I, it wasn't actually. I'd already um, said to my association, funny enough, the weekend, that weekend before, it was a Monday morning that I said that, and the weekend before I told my association I wasn't going to be standing. Uh, I think it just confirmed that I made the right decision because what I was talking about is people feeling uncomfortable going to some areas. You then get shut down because, it, my bad, I chose um, particular words that trigger some people, confect some anger for some people, and it shuts down the discussion. You can't have those kind of discussions because everything is rosy, then you're never going to get anything sorted. So it sort of confirmed the, the right decision for me. But the frenzy that I had was nothing compared to female MPs, to black MPs, to Asian heritage MPs, etc., who get that day in, day out. Paul, why did you apologise for that comment? Because I... I accept and I understand that swathes of our viewers would consider, not necessarily about Tower Hamlets, but certain parts of the UK for that statement where it was a no-go area, you referred to Tower Hamlets as, as true. So why did you apologise? Because it distracted from what I was actually trying to say. What I was trying to say is not a no-go area, which some people interpreted as a, as a you can't go in there, the police can't go in there, etc. Right. What I was saying is that people, some people, feel uncomfortable going into areas, it might be white people going into black areas, it might be um, gay people, Jewish people going into um, areas where they've got uh, uh, some of the more extreme elements of, of, um, of um, Islam in there, uh, like the, the old um, Muslim patrols that were there a few years ago. It may be just older people going into past schoolboys that feel intimidated. Got it. It's that discomfort that we've got to tackle because otherwise the, all the that what that does that just releases the um, a, sort of a space for people to start talking being anti-islam to start talking about being racist and those kind of things that's what i was trying to get across